What's going on everybody? Jason here and today I've got this very nice looking 2021 Ram 3500 Bighorn. And as for the trims, there are other trims that you can obviously get in the 3500 lineup such as the Tradesman, Laramie, Longhorn and the Limited ones. And each of those trim levels will obviously vary in the type of options, standard options that you can get with the truck. But all of them you can get with the 6'4 box or you can get the 8 foot box which this one has. It just makes the truck really really long but if you do need it you can get a crew cab with the eight foot box or obviously the six four box these ones do not come in the quad cab you can only get either a crew cab which you're looking at right now with the eight foot box or the other one or just a regular cab two door but you will get the eight foot box in that so let's start off at the front because this truck does have a ton of upgraded features and you'll notice it does not have chrome or any chrome <laughs> pretty much anywhere just those little two parts there but i'll tell you why exactly so if you were to get just a you know basic 3500 bighorn then you're gonna get obviously the chrome bumpers front and rear as well as some parts of the grill standard are the tow mirrors which this one obviously has and you can upgrade the rear wheels actually from the single to the dual wheels and make it a dually also standard will be the 18 inch silver aluminum wheels or chrome aluminum wheels which you can upgrade obviously but these ones are upgraded ones which i'll cover in a second and of course with the standard package you'll just get the regular uh, quad halogen light bulbs where this one has the led ones so this truck has something called the sports appearance package which gives you the body colored grill which you're looking at right now uh, sport decal which is on the rear at the bed i'll actually show you in a second it's up there in that corner you also get like i mentioned body colored front and rear bumpers along with front and rear park assist sensors so on this particular one we'll start off at the bottom you get two black tow hooks at the rear and here are the sensors for the front that i was talking about which go all the way along you do get led fog lamps standard you will not and of course you get the upgraded led headlamps and as for the grill it is fully blacked out with that gloss black touch uh, this part here on both sides is obviously chromed out along with the chrome uh, ram logo if you want all of it blacked out then you would have to opt out for the night edition package you also get on this one the front facing uh, camera and just so that you know that it's led it'll actually say ram led inside of the led headlamp also you will get with every truck is the 3500 heavy duty Beauty logoing this is in chrome if it's night edition then it will obviously be black you also get because this is a cummins diesel you will get the cummins turbo diesel badging and then the iconic ram badging on both doors these ones like i mentioned you get the tow mirrors and what's cool about these is that it has cameras on both sides which i'll show you inside when we get into the touch screen and up top you do have your clearance headlamps uh these are optional you can get them or you can get it without it as for the wheels these are the upgraded wheels these are the 20 inch silver aluminum wheels whatever you want to call them they look absolutely beautiful especially you know having that subtle subtle chrome look to the truck and also you get that nice ram logo in the center cap right there moving over to the rear as you can see this bed is extended quite a bit it is not the regular 6-4 bed that you get this is the extended eight foot box and here is the sport uh decal that you do get with the sports appearance package so on the rear you also get your led tail lamps with the uh sensors for your blind spot monitoring and all of that and like i mentioned you get the body colored rear bumper as well with the rear sensors all the way along at the bottom you also get a hitch obviously and then all of the plugs that are necessary if you do need to tow and all of that also with the towing because this has the standard 3.73 rear axle ratio you can tow a little over 20,000 pounds and your payload will be about 4,500 pounds now you can get an optional upgrade to the 4.10 rear axle ratio. If you do choose that, you're gonna be able to tow um, about 21,600 pounds and your payload capacity will jump up to about 5,800 pounds. Also, you'll get the Bighorn lettering uh, badging in the back with the silver outlining and the black insert along with the massive Ram logo and of course the 4x4 logo as well. If you do choose the night edition, all of this stuff here will be blacked out. And in the rear of the uh, handle on the tailgate, like any other truck on the Rams, um, you will get the backup camera built in. And if we go ahead and open the tailgate, this is a dampened tailgate, so it will not fall and slam to the ground. Um, all of a sudden when you open it, it will open smoothly. 
Typically, standard on these trucks, you will not get a spray and liner. This was done after for the customer, obviously. Um, on the inside, you'll notice standard hooks all along the four corners. Obviously, that's built in for every single truck. Right here, you also get LED bed lighting on both sides. And of course, in the bed, you get more uh, plug outlets as well. And then your 115 volt uh, plug in the rear if you're you know, using it for work and whatnot. Also, what comes with this truck as an optional upgrade is these things right there. You kind of see like the hockey pucks in the ground. That is for your fifth wheel and goose neck prep. Another thing that you can get as an upgrade, uh, as an option, is a tonal cover from the factory. Typically, it will not come with it. And you do get a rear power sliding window as well. As for the key itself, very, very traditional to the other ones that I've shown you for the Ram trucks. You've got your unlock, lock button, remote start, panic, and then you've got the nice Ram lettering at the rear. And to hear what this bad boy sounds like, you're gonna double tap, give it a second. And the Cummins diesel engine comes to life. And as for your engine options, you have three options that you can choose from when it comes to the 3500s. This tip, this one right here is the 6.7 liter turbo diesel Cummins. This is not the high output uh, version. You can also get the same one, but the high output version. And then with that, obviously you'll get way more torque um, or you can choose the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. So you've got three options that you can choose from. Very, very nice. So with this particular one with the non high output version, um, you're going to be getting 370 horsepower with 850 foot pound of torque but if you do opt out for the high output version of this your numbers are going to go up quite a bit uh, your horsepower is going to be 420 and then your um, torque is going to be 1075 let's say you choose the v8 hemi um, those numbers look like this you're going to get 410 horsepower with 429 foot pound of torque heading into the rear of the 3500 Again, it's very, very traditional to any other truck. Uh, I've done a video uh, previously that has exactly this same uh, setup. You've got this nice uh, smooth finish of like a kind of like a texture or whatever you want to call it that goes all the way along in the truck. I'll show you. You've got this nice cloth uh, insert right here and then leather that goes all the way around with the white stitching. You've got a little bit of room here and down here. Also, this truck does have the upgraded nine Alpine speaker system. Typically, you will just get the six speakers from the factory. As for the seats at the back, they are fully, fully cloth. Um, again, it looks very, very nice and it is very comfortable even for the rear passengers, even though it's a 3500 work truck, heavy duty truck, whatever you want to say. Uh, very, very comfortable. In the middle section here, just like any other Ram, uh, you got two cup holders for the rear. Also on both sides in the floor, you do get storage bins to put small items in there uh, if you do need to tuck them away. Also, these seats in the rear do come all the way up and you kind of have this tray type thing that comes all the way down. Um, a little bit hard because it has the mats with it, but it comes as a flat bottom that you can use to put extra stuff if you don't want to use the bed or if your bed is full. And as you can see, it does have two extra cup holders right there, uh, right underneath the center seat. Behind both the driver and passenger seat, just like any other vehicle, any other truck I've shown you, it does have some storage space, obviously for both sides. In the center here, you've got more of this texture finish that I've shown you. Two more cup holders, uh, venting in the rear, small space here, and then a bunch of USB ports the normal and type C and then you've got a 115 volt plug at the bottom there coming over to the driver's side it's the same layout as the rear uh, door that I just showed you with that nice piece here uh, cloth leather space here space here and some cup holder space here along with your speakers window controls these are power folding mirrors uh, so which is really convenient and as for the seats and you know the different specs that you can get this one has the center console option, so you can either get the center console or you can have the front bench seating. And the type of seating that you can get is either black and diesel gray, black on light frost, or black with light mountain brown. So you have the option from all those three colors to have either bench or the center console. And even the front seats, they're very, very comfortable and very plush. So even if you're going on like a decent amount of a long ride, these will keep you comfortable. And the driver side only is power adjustable. The passenger side is manual adjustable. Over at the bottom, it's just nothing too fancy. Just your foot pedals, your parking brake to release it. It's right here. You've also got the power here to turn your outlet in the bed, the 115 volt plug on and off. 
and then you've got your hood latch release in the center here. You also have some space in here on both sides to put small things like paperwork or you know anything like that. Right above that you've got your lighting controls LED and then for your bed as well. This is your dimmer and then your foot pedals down here are power adjustable front and back and then your actual steering wheel is manual adjustable and when you get in when you start the truck up you are welcome with that nice big horn logo which looks really really clean so when you enter the truck this will be similar to the other videos that i've done on the 3500 limited dually and the 2500 big horn um, you got the venting of course and then right around it you have this nice silver bezeling which goes along the center dash here and of course down on that vent as well up top, you've got hard plastic all the way around. You've got speakers here, you've got your sub here, and then another speaker there shows Alpine right in the center there. And then in the center gauge cluster in front of the driver, you've got the nice Ram logoing right there. And it's very traditional of a layout uh, compared to other heavy duty trucks or just you know the 1500s and stuff as well. Uh, you got your tack meter speed, and then you've got a bunch of different options that you can kind of flick through. So. I'll cover it quickly. I've done this many, many times in my other videos, but you can go ahead and check out, you know, how much mileage you have left, your trip information. You've got your trailer tow information here. You've got audio settings and whatnot. There's a bunch of different options that you can kind of flick through and have whatever you need to have in front of you. On the actual steering wheel, it is nice and firm with that nice leather feel to it. Um, you know, you've got a bunch of buttons on here, of course. You've got your Bluetooth settings right up top and then your controls right here for the center gauge, uh, like I mentioned. And then over here, you've got your cruise control settings and then your gear limit selector if you wanna use that. In the center here, you've got kind of like a matte finish in silver Ram logo, which looks really, really nice. And of course, being a heavy duty truck, you definitely need to have this type of a gear selector. Very, very nice looking. Right next to that, you've got your push to start, why not? And then you've got heavy duty badging here, four by four badging here, and then your different uh, you know, options that you can choose from, four high, four low, two wheel drive, and whatnot is right there. In the center handrest, full full leather with the white stitching of course if you open up the first section here you've got a decent amount of room to put whatever you need to uh, a small tablet a phone or whatever and you have a usb port inside if you do want to charge those things and leave them in here so if we go ahead and close the first section and open up the main section you've got a measuring tool so if you're a carpenter this will become your best friend of course um, in the center here like i've shown you in other ram trucks huge huge amount of space you've got space here and this center section here does move back and forth so if i just press this move it back and bam you got more space and on the actual center section that you know slides back and forth you've got a decent amount of space here to put small things and of course cup holders in the front if we move this back down here you've got a 115 volt plug uh one in the rear and one up here as well and you've got a holder for your phones you can hold one here and one here right above that phone holder you've got more usb ports you've got you know normal ones type c and then your regular aux cable right there and looking right above that you've got a bunch of buttons here um so right over here you've got six auxiliary ports so if you do need to access and put stuff on the exterior and whatnot you can connect it to either one of these you've got your rear and your front parking sensors you can turn them on and off you've got your exhaust uh, brake right there the button for it and then you can turn it on and off obviously and then your tow haul mode right there and you do have your trailer brake controller right there as well before i get into the massive touchscreen right up above you have a little bit of more space here with the ram lettering finished in like a silver aluminum uh touch um right here you've got a 12 volt adapter and then bam you've got a 12 inch touchscreen this is part of the tech package so if you do not get the tech package but you still do get the um whether it be the night edition or the sport appearance package which this truck has like i mentioned you will get the 8.4 inch touchscreen however if you do not get any of those and you just get a you know a basic 3500 bighorn you will get that tiny tiny five inch screen so i'll do a very very quick rundown because i've done this many many times on the 12 inch screens um most of you are probably already pros at it but for those of you that have never seen a 12 inch screen or have not seen it on video you've got your buttons here on the side for heating and cooling you can use these buttons here or the actual touch screen which i'll show you and this touch screen is dual you know you can have two things on either side so you can have media up here and then your navigation at the bottom so it is a split screen which is really really cool down below you do have your media for your sirius xm am and fm 
you've got controls which will pull up your driver controls for your heated and or sorry heated seats and your heated steering wheel passenger heated seats and then in the center here you'll have your mirror which you can dim on this one and you've got your backup camera surround camera which is part of the tech package and then your cargo camera so if we go into the backup camera here you can you know see a bunch of different options here you can zoom in and zoom out so this is your tailgate camera which i show you in the tailgates this is your cargo camera up top um, you can use this as well just to see what you have in the back or if it didn't fly away these are the cameras that i was telling you about on the side mirrors this is on both sides so you have access to those as well and if we go to surround camera you've got a 360 view the top view of your truck and then a bunch of different angles and whatnot just to go through so if we exit out of this and exit out of this we're going to go into apps there's a different you know whole section here that you can go through some of the things will be the same like your backup camera and whatnot you've got navigation you can have a full screen of the navigation very very nice uh, you got your phone setting here if you do have bluetooth set up and then you can access your backup camera again through there right above that you've got your hazards and then your traction control button right there you've got a little bit of room here for glasses and whatnot and then you've also got uh interior lighting your rear power sliding button and then you can also get an upgraded sunroof um, as an extra option if you like coming over to the passenger side right here again you've got that nice cloth seating which looks absolutely stunning and then you have more space like i mentioned on this side and the driver side right over here in your glove department you've got a decent amount of room if this is full you can close that and open up your secondary glove department which does have a fairly good amount of room to put in there and of course you've got the nice bighorn badging right there so there is two different uh packages that you can get you can get the level one or the level b equipment group which this truck has and some of the things like i mentioned uh in the video that come with it are led tail lamps power adjustable pedals fog lights front heated seats and heated steering wheel uh the uconnect 4 with 8.4 inch but this one obviously has the tech package which upgrades it to the 12 inch also you get remote start in storage bins which i showed you in the rear power sliding rear window dampening tailgate which it opens obviously softly power folding mirrors power adjustable driver seat and much more and if you do get the tech package which this truck obviously has you'll get the surround view camera you connect 12 inch screen led fog lamps led headlights and the nine speaker sound system and much more other many popular options that you can get if you do want to get extra stuff you can get like i mentioned the heavy duty snow prep group which this truck has also you can get the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep group clearance lamps which this has led bed lighting and then the 20 inch wheels that this has also you can get the power sunroof which i just mentioned to you inside um, you can also get the rear auto leveling suspension max tow package safety group and so much so much more so here is the window sticker for this 2021 ram 3500 bighorn you can see the color option and stuff like that and then the standard equipment right here and then all of this is the um, optional equipment like i mentioned the tech package and all of that you get the level b like i just mentioned to you and a ton more options this is the price but obviously we're here in canada this is canadian pricing this will be minus any dealer discounts and any manufacturing discounts so it could be less than this and that's it for this beautiful 2021 ram 3500 bighorn let me know in the comments down below if you love it or if you hate it